The sun setting over the busy metropolis of Houston, Texas. And that's where we're coming to you from tonight. Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. And on tap tonight, it's the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony. Chris Weber is here, our sideline reporter, the Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And with us tonight, basketball expert Bill Sim. Bill, you look great. Thank you for being here. I'd like to say hi to all the people who traded for Anthony Davis in the GM mode of this game yes. to get him on their team right. when their real team couldn't pull it off. Congratulations. I can't believe you pulled the trade off. GA, it's all yours. Well, guys, we know Russell Westbrook is fearless on the court and with his sense of fashion. Growing up around Los Angeles, he said, I felt like every day was the first day of school. That's how it was the minute I woke up. And guys, he's starting to release his own lines of clothing and accessories. I have a couple in my closet. Back to you. Influential with his taste for sure, David. Thank you. The Rockets perpetually knocking on the door. At what point, though, Bill, do you think their window will close? Um, I think that point happened in May of 2019. I think they had two years to win the title where everything was lined up for them. 2018, they're up 3-2 against the Warriors. The Warriors are tired. They seem like they're fading. They can't close. I think the key for them is the difference between being a regular season team and a playoff team. They're a great regular season team, but the playoffs every year become more and more complicated, smarter, more, you got to come up with a plan C, a plan D, a plan E as the series goes along, and their plan A is kind of what they ride with. They get tight, the crowd gets tight, things slow down. What's your plan B? And they haven't been able to figure that out. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. Kleba is the four with Porzingis in the middle. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. And it's Charles in at the point guard position. And for the Rockets, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Gordon in at the small forward. One shot. Night Harden put up 60 points and had a triple double. That, that was so amazing. I, I gotta mention uh, that, that that's, that's 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 incredible. Here is Slim. Pass to Kleba. Here's Persingas. That one's good from the corner. He doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's gonna get it. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. He dishes it to Gordon. Houston moving the ball around. Back to Harden. It's hauled in by Persingas. To the inside, Westbrook with the steal. It's Harden with the drive, and Harden with the stuff. Oh, and when Harden is going strong to the rim, he's looking for the throwdown, ripping the rim down hard. Well, now. Kleba kicks to Doncic to the middle. Here's Charles. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. And the Rockets building their offense around the three ball. What will uh, that approach look like if they ever want to make a championship run? There's got to be more to it than just the three-point shot. You would think. They've been playing the math, and the math says volume of threes and percentages, and eventually it's going to come in your favor. You believe that's the way to win? I think it's the way to succeed during the regular season. We saw with Toronto, especially in the uh, Toronto Milwaukee series, Toronto was playing those same averages, and then Dan Vliet got hot, and a couple of guys started making threes, and all of a sudden they win that series. So that's a case of it did work. But I still think you need... You need to know what you're doing when everything slows down. And we saw the Rockets two years in a row, like famously when they missed 27 threes. Mm -hmm. Those threes get a lot tougher when it's yes. a game seven, you're tired, the other team's used to you, and the nerves are coming in, and that basket suddenly looking a little smaller. Mm -hmm. What's your plan B? Now, here's Doncic. He had 16 points in the win against Phoenix. Yeah, and don't forget about his passing. I mean, he didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. 
And he's got to do a better job making the D pay for their mistakes. Harden has a wide open look. Hits the three-point bomb. Harden's got eight points. A really smart opening quarter for them at the offensive end. Moving, finding good shots. They're four for five from the field. Here's Doncic. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Doncic has got his second bucket of the game to go. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out-rebounded. Now here's Harden. He had 25 points in the win against Portland. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. No good from Charles. Oh, he did everything right there except hit the shot. To the paint, here's Tucker. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. If he's got his hands on the ball within a few feet of the basket, Tucker has one thing on his mind. Dunk that back. Out to Porzingis. The pass to Charles. Bill, it's no secret that your heart lies in Boston. Just what was it like growing up in and around that area? Well, it's definitely the reason I like sports mm -hmm. as much as I do because it's so sports obsessed. A lot of it is cold weather stuff, I feel like, where there's five months a year that just stink, and then there's three other months that, you know, it's just smoking hot and yeah. humid. And so the sports makes everybody kind of crazy because you're crazy anyway, but... Um, there's nothing like being in Boston when something good's happening, like Celtics making an NBA playoff run or the Bruins making a cup run, or the Red Sox in September when the Yankees are coming to town or the Saturday before a Patriots game. You can kind of feel it as the community of it. That's the difference between here and a place like L.A. It, it's formed you as a profession. Right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. oh, free throw is good from Doncic. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. And here's Westbrook. Really played well against Portland in his last out. It's tipped. Here's Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. And when you want Doncic, he's one of those guys who kind of just slithers around until he finds an opening and then bam. Rockets have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Outside Westbrook. That's basket number 2 with his third shot off to a fast 2 for 3. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Out to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Uh, has the vertical needed to dunk it. Donch is showing off the power and flair that he possesses. Here's Westbrook. It's rebounded by Dallas. Inside, Covington with a steal. Gordon, the pass to Westbrook. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from the floor. The Mavericks have gone six of nine, shooting it well. No good from Charles. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Houston's gone one of two from long range in the first quarter. Luka Doncic, 2019 Rookie of the Year. Did you have any idea he would be this good? Yes. You, you knew it. I went nuts. Yeah. I couldn't believe Atlanta, Atlanta straight away. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. I, I thought Phoenix should have taken him. I thought Sacramento should have taken him. And uh, I still can't believe they didn't. You know, you, it's really weird when people just throw away the Euro League. Like it's, you know, like it's like people playing at the line. And he was decorated. It's a really good league. Oh, my goodness. He played a 90-game season, yes. and they won the title, and he was named the playoff MVP. Like, I, I don't know what else, what else you need. I mean, he was 19. And he's definitely special, and he seemed special a year ago, so I'm not surprised. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets.
quick look here at some of the numbers for him. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. Westbrook with it. Some stats for him. He averages over 21 points a game. And finished off by Westbrook. And you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical. Once he gets to the launching pad, rim, beware. Here is Slim. This game, an incredible scoring display for him. Outside, Brzingis. Doncic against Harden. From deep. Doncic, no good. The Rockets have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. And it's Gordon missing. Now the Mavericks with it. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. And as long as you do that, you put yourself in a good position to win, no matter if you're home or away. Now here's Gordon. After the miss from Charles. Harden, no good. Bill, you host your own podcast. I've listened to it. I subscribe to it. Thank I you. love it. What do you make of so many NBA players now doing the same thing? Hey, we have a couple of them. We At the ringer, we have J.J. Redick, and we have Vince oh, Carter, and Ken Bazemore. Uh, the ones that are good at it take it seriously. It can't be one of those things where, you know, a player says, you know what, I want a podcast, and then it just magically happens. Like, you got to work on it. You have to use your connections and book your guests, and you have to be candid on the podcast. You can't just show up and just babble. And the guys that have been successful at it, are people that could probably have a media career for a living. Like, J.J. is clearly going to go into media after he retires. Richard Jefferson had a great podcast. He's gone into media. He's really good. Yes. So I think you need a little more talent at it than people realize. And you need the consistency of it. You can't say, I'm starting a podcast, and then not do it. It's making a change here. Tucker's checked in, and the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Zinkis, he's checked in for Marjanovic. Murray comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. J.J. Barea's checked in for Luka Doncic. And it's slim in for Jalen Brunson. Here's Barea. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Charles. A miss that time. Would have put him up. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him. And he knows it. The best thing they can do is try to get him more easy looks. McLemore is out there with Austin Rivers. Then it's P.J. Tucker. Then it's Damari Carroll. And it's House in at the three spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, Slim in the last outing against the Suns was outstanding. He had 56 points and played tremendous defense as well, really causing havoc on both ends of the floor. The stat line was filled, and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. No, I think he will because he takes being a leader seriously and, and it shows in how he approaches things at both ends of the field. McLemore, the pass to House. Now here's Rivers, guarded by Charles. Rivers can't get it to go. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. And from everything we're hearing, Bill, the draft's one and done aspect may be coming to an end. Like it? For me, the G League is the key to all of this. I would like to see the guys come right out of high school and go into the G League and have an actual infrastructure that's attached to the real thing. The G League is having an effect on the NBA. There are a lot of former guys yeah. from that late playing in, in the big league. And the other thing is, like, sports rights are becoming more and more valuable with the streaming services. Just the fact that you can watch a game anywhere you are you can watch it on your phone you can watch it if you're in china you can watch it if you're in hawaii and i think the g league should be a bigger thing so if they can figure out a way to kind of steal college basketball's corner with some of this stuff while also preparing these guys the one and done that makes no sense to me i don't understand what anyone gains from going to college for five months and then pretend they're a college student catching up on the changes for houston 
Robert Covington's checked in for Damari Carroll. Gordon comes in for Daniel House. James Harden, he's checked in for McLemore. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Austin Rivers. The 10 footer. Basket good. Westbrook's got it all tied up now for Houston. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. And here's what the Rockets schedule looks like. On Sunday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Tuesday, they'll host the Charlotte Hornets. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. And he's good on the second. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Rolls up on the elbow. Westbrook, no good. The Mavericks leading an even three-on-three -three break. Perea, no good. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. And Bill, when it comes to NBA awards, some people have said voter fatigue is a factor. Would you agree with that? No, I actually think NBA awards are in the best shape they've been in because people are afraid to screw up. You know, that with the internet and the accountability. Oh, what a beautiful play! What an intensity! Did you see that? Great. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> Not many folks thought that Tucker would have success as an NBA three-point shooter. But he's proven all of them wrong. He's got good range. Porzingis, not going to go that time. The Rockets go the other way with it. Fresh from a win against Portland. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave them. Yeah, good job to take it right at the defense. Houston shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Quick fact for you guys. P.J. Tucker is the number one sneakerhead in the NBA, and it's not even close. The man owns hundreds and hundreds of kicks. In the 2018 playoffs, P.J. wore 22 different pairs of shoes in 17 games. For Dallas, they've gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Pass to Kleba. Here is Slim. There's the triple. And it's rebounded by Covington. Covington's got his fourth rebound in this one. From deep Harden. For just the fourth time today, it is good. That one makes him four for ten. And they're not afraid to let it fly from deep. They're looking to extend their lead with the three ball here in the second quarter taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Dallas. Shot from the inbound. Harden can't hit. Look, they say there are no easy finishes in the NBA, but that should be easy. And at one point, seems like ISO basketball was falling out of favor, Bill, but the Rockets have made a cornerstone of their success that very thing. True. For the regular season. And right, for the and then it changes, rounds. doesn't it? Right? Yeah, I do wonder if it's like the run and shoot with football, where it's this... It's you don't this, trust it, maybe? You don't trust it? Yeah, it's for the regular season. You're playing a team once. They don't have time to scout it for a bunch of weeks, but... You know, when you get to the playoffs and you're playing the same team seven Sometimes. times. Scouting gets better. Yeah, and, the, and players, you, you just played it two nights ago. You did play it against the same offense. You pick up little tricks. And I really wonder if you can win four straight rounds doing it. And the first one drops. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter.
Both shots good from the strike. Mavericks trail by five. Here is Slim. He's got nine. Harden against Hardaway. Six to shoot. And that one is hammered home. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And finished off by Westbrook. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And, guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. Rockets leading by three. Harden outside. Tucker finds Westbrook. Bobbed up there for Westbrook. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Right away, no good. Houston's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And the basket by Gordon. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Mavericks trail by six. Outside Hardaway. Good work defensively by Harden. Nothing less than that kind of defense would cut it against them. That's just great work inside. Kept alive. Westbrook. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Mavericks making a switch here. Lights checked in. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. And not what we're accustomed to seeing from him at all from the free throw line. And he stops it. What a pass to set him up. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. Tucker finds Gordon. Down low. Here's Westbrook. Uses the glass to drop it in. Westbrook's got the lead up to six now for the Rockets. And terrific floor awareness. I mean, this obvious Covington has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. And we have some time now to show you which rookies have the greatest impact offensively over the course of the last month. Take a look at Slim. Leading the league in points per game. Such a great player. And those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league. Here's Westbrook. It's rebounded by Dallas. Persingas has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Charles. Banked in off the glass. Slim's got 13 points now in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Timeout called the Rockets. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Here is Harden, 13 points in the game. Dishes it to Tucker. Covington trying to break free. Tucker can't get it to go. Mavericks trail by four. To the paint. Here's Charles. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. 
here's Westbrook. That's good. It's his seventh main basket in 14 tries. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Right, the pass to Kleba. Dallas moving it around. Doncic kicks to right. Here's Charles, and he makes good on the layup. Slim's got 19 points. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Taken away. And now the fans break. Doncic with the ball over Gordon. Here's Charles, and he hits it to tie the game up. He's got 21. His field goal percentage is creeping up there now. I mean, it wasn't pretty in the first quarter. Here's Westbrook, and finished off by Westbrook. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? Here is Slim. He's covered by Westbrook. Back to Doncic. Outside, Brzingis. Passes to Charles. Shot clock at six. Doncic outside. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Inside, here's Westbrook. He's it up and in off a pretty assist. Now it's a four-point rocket lead. Well, with the roll he's on this quarter, they're, they're going to keep going to him and get that lead even bigger. Here's Charles. Lays it up and banks it in. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. And stolen by Wright. And always as enlightening as you're going to find. Bill, thank you so much for your insights. Always appreciate you joining us. I hope you come back. I, I don't want to leave. Why do I have to go? Can no, I just stay here for I, the I'm rest reading of this the game? note, and the note says, no, thank Bill. Go. I'm not leaving. Hope he comes yeah, back. I'm staying. Okay. You know, Greg, Bill Simmons has worn so many hats as a writer, a podcast, a broadcast. Now, it's nice to let him wear one more on our broadcast. Uh, he's been successful for a reason, Kevin. There's a fearlessness, but also great humor in his perspective. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, don't like this demonstrate leadership. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Houston with a big group substitution here. Damari Carroll's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Daniel House comes in for Robert Covington. Ben McLemore, he's checked in for Gordon. And it's Austin Rivers in for James Harden. And Dallas also making a switch. Powell's checked in. Well, the Rockets are a team that is pushing NBA theory to the extremes with how they approach offense. Oh, yeah. Every year they seem to go more toward threes or free throws. I mean, you can't fault them as it consistently works for them, though. I mean, it's like watching the team experiment with what makes an NBA offense. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Rockets. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. And that will be the middle game of this three-game homestand. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little, then execute your offense. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. And so it's the Houston Rockets with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside. David. 
Thanks very much. Shay, you've had no problem creating both for yourself and for your teammates. What's allowed you to have so much success at the offensive end? Hey, DA, I've just been trying to keep our momentum and tempo, you know, where we want it. Get as many easy transition scores as we can. You know, when we don't stand still, things open up. And you know, our team, what we are, you know, we're willing to make the, mat, the next pass. That's the type of team we are. Well, so far, things are going in the right direction for your guys. Good luck in the second half. Kevin? Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Slim having a dominant impact in this game. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Oh, you're, you're so right, Greg. I mean, he did a great job of attacking the seams, getting to the rim, and then finishing strong. On the court for the Mavericks. Doncic and Hardaway at the two and the three. Kleba is the four with Perzingis in the middle. And it's Charles in at the point. And how about the vision there from Doncic can make the easy pass and also the difficult one. Mavericks trail by four. To the wing right side. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Persingas. Huffington trying to break free. Here's Charles. Out to Hardaway. Here is Slim, guarded by Harden. Slim passes to Doncic. Knocks down the three ball. Doncic has got 13. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Now the Rockets with it. It's tipped. Rzingis with the steal. All alone. And the dunk by Doncic. And you can tell that Doncic loves leaking out. they able to get to the right spot there in transition. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Harden outside. Kicks it out to Gordon. Pass to Westbrook. Double team on Westbrook. Got that bucket. Westbrook's got 26. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck and neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively, as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. Charles. Here's Doncic, and it's Dallas with another. And it just seems when Doncic turns it on, it's a sight to see. Incredible at scoring in a variety of ways. Now, here's Westbrook. He's guarded by Charles. Westbrook, no good. It's still early, but one for four start to the half, that's a bad sign, if you ask me. They've got a can't-miss play. Now's the time to break the glass and pull it out. There's more and more. We're seeing star players give their sneakers to fans at the end of games. Did you ever do that? Oh, yeah, man. Especially when I was with Dada, I would give a pair of shoes away after every game. Oh, great. I really love doing it on the road. At home, it's really cool. But on the road, it's great because that's where you know that fan braved all those other fans and the elements to wear your jersey <laughs> and, and to be the only one there. So you look for that kid. I used to look for the kid with the number four Weber jersey and be like, hey, kid, I know what you went through the world tonight. You make sure you go home with these grabbing like Tell them these are fresh from the game when we beat your team, baby. Yeah, that's a neat way to connect. <laughs> yeah. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Hardaway for three. Another three for Dallas. Oh, great ball movement there. Rockets trailed by four. Now Harden. He's got 13. Ball's knocked loose. 
fast break. Dallas Doncic leading the charge. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Yeah, and defensively, you'd like to see a greater effort to change ends. Westbrook passes to Gordon. Now, here's Tucker. Headed by Porzingis. Now, here's Gordon. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Tucker can't get it to go. Uh, come on. You, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Now the pass to Persingas. Hits. Count that one from Charles. Slim's got the lead up to eight now for the man. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Without question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks, a trend that they'd like to reverse. change it up and with a quick break in the action And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Mavericks leading by 18. Pass to Powell. Dallas moving it around. It's stolen by Carroll. And here we go. McLemore heading to the hoop. And really, whenever McLemore gets loose in transition, he's a problem for the defense. He can score in so many ways. Perea kicks to Powell. Right outside. Now here's Powell, guarded closely. And it's right missing. Houston's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Westbrook, no good. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Count it. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Westbrook passes to McLemore. Rivers dishes to Westbrook. Pass to McLemore. Here is House. Back to Westbrook. Just five to shoot. Pass to McLemore. Let's it go with a three. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got his 16th rebound on the night. Dallas leading by 18. Slim passes to Berea. To the middle. Westbrook with the block. House kicks to Westbrook. Shot and game clock separated by five. Mavericks with the rebound. Persingas has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Slim passes to right. To the inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Mavericks ahead, running away with this one. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us.
And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session tomorrow. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Rockets, we've got Rivers. He's out there with Russell Westbrook. Damari Carroll is out there with McLemore. And it's House in at the fourth. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Yeah, indeed, like that isn't going to get you back in the game. <laughs> you have to stay connected to these shooters. Right outside. Right side, Berzingis, uncovered. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. Oh, I do too, Greg. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off. This it puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on you. And guys, it's clear, though, he enjoys showing off his athleticism. The D can't give him these opportunities. And it's Houston on the break. Feeds it to House. Or three, Westbrook. Porzingis with the rebound. Dallas leading by 21. Here's Charles. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. They get Russell Westbrook. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Chris, when you look around the league, who do you feel is the most universally liked player in the league? Hmm. That's a good one because there's so many players with great stories. How about Derrick Rose? Fighting all those injuries, sure, coming yeah. back, having a 50-point game, becoming a leader again there in Minnesota, the youngest MVP ever, watching his ups and downs. Luka Doncic, how about that guy? That's just from excitement of play. The fact that he's just infused this Dallas team with energy and fun is so much fun watching him and then you got to go the with the elder statesman the in other words we call him What's the up? old head where i'm from and that's vince <laughs> carter if you don't love vince carter something's wrong with you because he's the line in the sand from dr j dominique jordan and those dunkers to anything that's happening today vince carter he's the man we're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half we're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth and oh, he rips it and jams it right over Przingis. Wow! Oh, he's putting on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Down low, here's Charles. The teardrop falls in. Slim's got 42 in the game. If they close this win out, I know who my MVP is. His offensive performance tonight has been unreal. Here's Westbrook. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Westbrook's got six in the quarter. But too bad his scoring hasn't been contagious. I mean, they'd be in much better shape if a few of their other guys could pick up some slack. It's stolen by McLemore. Out of bounds. Dallas will take possession. Doncic is checked in for the Mavericks. Mavericks leading by 22. No good from Charles. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. A nice shot by Rivers. And running the break is about being opportunistic. Now right there, Rivers doing just this and being rewarded for it. Hardaway finds Doncic. Here's Charles. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It seems like some teams have been in rebuild mode for a long time. Is there a point at which the league should step in and, and maybe, I don't know, take over or, or give them guidance? You know, I, I really do. Um, and, and not because it's necessarily the fault of the team. Because, it, listen, it, it's, it's tough to win a championship. 
uh, but to be a perennial bottom dweller, basement dweller, it, it's not good for the fans. And fans like myself, every year comes the first game, we think, hey, we could win a championship, we could do it. But, mm -hmm. you know, our, our, our thought process is not based in knowledge. It's just based in our hope and will for the team. So you definitely want to keep teams straight. You want to keep them honest. And, and I think the league could find a way to step in but not step on the toes of ownership. Both free throws, good from Charles. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. House. Nice D from Porzingis. Dallas leading by 22. Here's Hardaway. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. It's Westbrook. Oh! Ooh, that's an old-fashioned rim wrap. Uh, just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. To the paint, it's deflected. Here's Doncic. Up again, and Doncic is right there. Doncic has got 25 points. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. For Houston, they've gone 6 of 8 from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Westbrook double team out to the right wing. Here is House, guarded by Powell. And some nice passing there by Houston. Five to shoot. Takes a three. And Rivers with the basket on the assist by House. That's 10 points for Austin Rivers. As hot as he's been, it, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. And the dunk by Powell. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. It's Westbrook with the drive. You know, he rips it and jams it right over Przingis. Wow! I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys, and it was the same exact story last time out. And Doncic gets it to go. And certainly not lacking in confidence. When Doncic gets these inside looks, he just jumps all over. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on for Zingas. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. See, Webb, if we lower the draft age back to 18, the league will take a larger role developing high school players. Your thoughts? Well, I, I think there's, I, I think it could be a safety net. You know, so many kids are vulnerable at this time, and they don't have a system, and that's why uh, everything's kind of been messed up for players, trying to figure out what is the correct system? How do I really get immersed? I want to be in the NBA. What is the right way? And, and I think the younger you are, with the more direction that you have, it, it can only turn out to be a, a safer process, I would hope. And getting better pro-level training, too, coaching. Yeah, pro-level training, pro-level knowledge, pro-level relationships. Uh, I think it's a great thing by the league. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Robert Covington's checked in for Daniel House. Gordon comes in for McLemore, and it's James Harden in for Rivers. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. Dallas leading by 21. And here is Doncic, the pass to Charles. Here's Kleba. Out to Doncic. Out left of the wing. Here's Charles. Another three for Dallas. Man, you got to respect Luka's passing skills. Uh, just a multi-talented player who is all about sharing the basketball. Here's Westbrook. And he banks in the lane. Westbrook's got 42 in the game. Oh, he's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Porzingis passes to Charles. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Gordon. Houston's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And Westbrook throws it down hard. He's a guy that can do many things well. I mean, Gordon is far from just a shooter. He's good at passing, too. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but his teammates love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. 
the double team with Covington. Charles, nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Here's Westbrook. It's rebounded by Dallas. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent, D. Avoiding fouling and got in the perfect position to alter the shot. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Houston. The other day, Chris, I heard Commissioner Adam Silver talking about that it strikes him sometimes how isolated players can be with cell phones and headphones and those things wouldn't help that. Uh, is it something that you've noticed or that you're concerned about? You mean with my nephews and nieces and friends that are younger and kids walking <laughs> oh, across everybody. the street looking at their phones and not even looking both ways? You know your play-by-play -play partner, whoever it might be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. You know, Kevin, those are the times. And so I, I, would, tell, uh, I would tell Adam Silver, Mr. Commissioner, yeah, that's a basketball problem. That's a world problem. How, how are we going to stop yeah. any of that? We're, we're here now. There's it's no putting that genie back in the bottle, Kevin. And he makes the first. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And both free throws good for Westbrook. Well, Mike D'Antoni, uh, he's a, a legendary coach in this game. He's found success at almost every stop. He's coach had only missing the title to submit his legacy. Jeff Green on the wing. The Rockets again can't hit. Mavericks leading by 22. And Finney Smith gets it to go. And with Mike D'Antoni, Chris, you can see his influence as a coach throughout the NBA. Yeah, a lot of modern offenses borrow from things that D'Antoni created. The up-tempo early offense is a product of his seven seconds or less era. I mean, his imprint is all over the NBA. Murray, good. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Houston's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Clemens. He's covered by Charles. Can't connect from short range. Fires the three. Here's Doncic. Tries it again. He lays it in. Doncic has got six in the quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. Can't nail the jumper. Slim passes to Doncic. There's the double team with Covington. And it's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. I mean, come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should... So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our Chris Webber. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the end presented by 2K Sports. See you next time.
Hey, what's up? It's Shaq. Listen, you've been on one the last few games. Wow. What do you think you have to do to sustain this level of production? Um, to, to sustain, I'm just going to have to stay in the same rhythm, game to game. Not overthink things too much, get points within the constructs of the offense. We also have great locker room atmosphere, everyone rooting for each other. But at the same time, we keep each other grounded, keep each other humble, man. And when you do that, I think all things are good to come. You have a lot of poise, young man. Congratulations. Jay, you led the team in blocks tonight. Is this something you're looking to do more of going forward? Man, I saw you and your family, man. Y'all look good. Uh, but to answer your question, you know what? I always want to add to my game. And if there's something I'm not good at, I'm going to keep working on it until it get great. Anything else? No. No? I'm good. Got All right, guys, I thank you. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks, Jay. Hey, man. You got that stuff again? All right, you guys ready to get down to business? We got a new contract to hash out. Yeah, I'm ready. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Pleasure doing business with you, Don. Levi, the pleasure's all mine. Excited to stay in the Che business. <laughs> 